hello it's system overview time and why am I sitting all the way back here with the camera all the way over there well yesterday I pushed the limits of how big a system I could fit in front of the camera while I sit in a chair today I'm going a step further into the ridiculous oh Jesus this <laughs> this is the EACA Video Genie. God, it weighs a ton. And it is huge. It is a big, big beast. What can I tell you about this? Actually, very little. This will be a short video. It is, um, it was made by EACA of Hong Kong in 1980. There are various different models that all look largely the same. It's a uh, TRS-80 Model 1 compatible. I have a load of TRS-80 software for it, but unfortunately this thing is only partly working. Um, it boots up fine, I can type stuff on it, type programs in, make them run, probably. But the tape deck appears not to be working. The motor works, partly, but... Nothing ever seems to load, and I've tried every command under the sun. The little meter thing that... Uh, where Somewhere around there I can't see. Doesn't do anything, so it seems like the signal's got not getting from the tape drive to the computer. Um, I'll, I'll hopefully find a spare that I'll be able to replace it with, or get another one of these, because they're not that rare. They do come up on eBay mm, every couple of months or so. And they sell for... Uh, well, I saw one with some added goodies like expansions and stuff, which went for fairly crazy money. But one of these on their own like this. I picked this up for, for 50 quid. Um, and they seem to go for between 50 and 80. I've seen them go for 30. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? It's Z80 based. It's got a... What has it got? 16k of RAM. 12k of ROM. Let's have a look. Let's see how... how how much of a view can I give you? There's your tape meter doofer. It has also got an input for an external tape drive which will only load programs that were written in BASIC. So you need the built-in tape drive to run machine code programs. Keyboard is quite nice. Venting on the back. God. It's heavy. Um, assorted expansion connector. Reset button, that's been somewhat bodged. Not by me. Uh, that, it does something to do with the... the ah, <laughs> I can't remember. It does something with the screen, like how many lines it's drawing or something. Monitor, thingamajig, tape input for an external tape drive, on-off switch, and a fuse thing. Um, yeah, it is that kind of system that would need its own fuse and I have um, I've recorded some footage showing you inside it which I'll just edit in now okay just because I know there are some people who are geeky enough to want to see inside one of these and this is one of those systems I'm not afraid to open because well actually I needed to open it anyway to try and sort out the tape deck I don't understand any of this gubbins it means nothing to me but I'm just gonna you know Point the camera at stuff and you can see what these really old machines look like on the inside. Plenty of dust in here, though I have had a good go at it. Well, blow at it and brush the dust out of the way where possible. Someone's had a go inside of this already on various parts. I took it apart initially to have a go at the tape recorder. To try and sort that out, but my my knowledge of such things just isn't enough. I'm sure it's fixable. I'm just going to see if I can get a new one. Well, I say new, you know. Find another one of these that's knackered but got a working tape deck. There you go. That's that screwed down. I'm not going to try and lift that up. It is a very solid, very chunky, hefty machine. There's the speaker under the tape recorder. More stuff under there. 
Yeah. Okay. That's enough of that, I think. Right, so editing back into this. That really is about all I can tell you. Um, there's a bit more information around the web. Look it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> I can't tell you what it's like to use in terms of games. There are games for it. I've got some, but I haven't been able to play them. So, uh... Oh yes, and of course, one of the very interesting features... I'm trying to see if you can see... Wood grain. <laughs> this, I think, I mean... Atari 2600s and Mattel, Mattel Intellivisions and I think the Fairchild Channel F Model 1 had wood grain but this is the only computer I'm aware of with wood grain apart from some funny homemade British things like Hectors that got put into homemade cases there it is Video Genie um, what's the model number EG 3003 enormous heavy probably quite good if I if if I could load anything on it in a very basic TRS-80 model one kind of way okay thank you for watching I'm breaking into a sweat just holding this